What is going on, my Houston Texans family? Welcome back to the 713 Houston Sportcast. I am your host, Ruben Calavillo. You guys can also find me on Believe in the Houston Texans on Spotify. I'm going to drop the link to my first episode right there down below. Feel free to check it out. I was joined by Harley from The Lead. We did an absolutely fantastic job. Free agency is upon us, guys. And when you're a Houston Texans fan, Well, this is the moment you've been waiting for, right? We've heard, you know, and seen the tweets, right? Derek Stingley tweeting that. Um, Patrick Queen. We've seen the number of 49ers players hinting at wanting to come with D'Amico Ryan's. Well, now it's time to put up or shut up if you are the Houston Texans. Let's not forget this was the year 2023 where Nick Casario said the Houston Texans will be going to spend some money. They have the fourth highest cap space in the NFL right now at 37 million. Now that could go up and down depending on what they do with Brandon Cooks, depending on what they do with Lermit Tunsil. But all signs are showing that the Houston Houston Texans are going to go out there for agency and are going to try to bring some great talent to NRG. And I have to say, man, it does feel like a breath here. And it does feel like some players might want to come to the Houston Texans because they are seeing what we are doing, right? Today, we will be discussing the running back group. And the running back group is very interesting because the Houston Texans have a damn good one. And his name is Damian Pierce, right? But what I am looking for in a backup running back is just someone who I know can take some of the, you know, of the stress of the reps off of Damian Pierce because it wasn't Rex Burkhead. It wasn't Derek Bungawale. It wasn't Royce Freeman. It was, you know, laughable how the Houston Texans try to put a running game not named Damian Pierce. I think backup running back is huge for the Houston Texans this year. And you saw when Damian Pierce went down. What the hell happened to your run game? It was non-existent whatsoever. And like I said, this Houston Texans team only won three games last year. Now is the time to start making your team better. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start with the free agency list. Make sure you guys are following me at Twitter at 713HSP. And without further ado, let's go ahead and start the Houston Texans 2023 free agent list. Let's go ahead. Now, the first player we are going to talk about, my Houston Texans family, is Raheem Mostert, who just had a fantastic year with the Miami Dolphins. His first year with them, right? And there was already some controversy. Was he the fastest player on the Miami Dolphins? Was clocked at 23 miles an hour in one of his breakaway touchdown runs? Raheem Mostert would absolutely excite me and should excite Houston Texans fan because there is a connection there to D'Amico Ryan's to Bobby Slowick, to Nick Cray, if you want to throw his name in there. Raheem Mostert spent most of his career with the San Francisco 49ers, and in 2021 was going to be their lead back, then hurt his knee in the first game, had season injury, knee surgery. They didn't re-sign him. He signed a one-year, $2.1 million contract with the Miami Dolphins, and he absolutely just, like I said, flourished onto the scene. 891 yards, three touchdowns. 202 receiving yards, two tutties, and he added two 100-yard games on the ground. I would love a one-two punch of Raheem Mostert and Damian Pierce because we saw what happened when Damian Pierce went down, right? We saw what happened when Damian Pierce stepped off the field. There wasn't a running back that I trusted or that I had 100% faith in that they were going to do some damage out there, and I have no doubt that that is Raheem Mostert. He is 31, right? He's going to be up there in age, but... This dude just had a fantastic season. You're not asking him to be the starter. You're not asking him to be behind a, you know, a running back who was entering year two, who may be in the next couple years the best running back in the NFL in Damian Pierce. And just the idea of Pierce and Raheem Mostert in your backfield, you're adding in the connection of D'Amico Ryans and Bobby Slowick and him being familiar with the San Francisco offense, what is absolutely excites me for the Houston Texans. Go ahead and get you some Raheem Mostert. Now, the next running back we are going to talk about is Jared McKinnon. In my opinion, one of the best pass catcher running backs in the NFL. He caught 56 balls this year. He won the Super Bowl. Is getting some praise for going down at the two-yard line. Not scoring right, but essentially ending the game and wrapping it up for the Kansas City Chiefs. What is interesting about McKinnon is in his seven years career, five of those, his teams targeted him 40 plus times. I love the possibility of him being a third down back here for the Houston Texans. You look at what he did this year for the Kansas City Chiefs. He played in all 17 games, didn't start in them. 291 rushing yard, one touchdown through the air, 56 catches. 
512 receiving yards, nine touchdowns. This is a true third down back. And if you are the Houston Texans, you haven't had this in years, right? There is also a 49ers connection. In 2020, he did play for the San Francisco 49ers. He played in all 16 games, started four of them. 319 rushing yards, five touchdowns through the year. He caught 33 balls, 253 yards, along with one Teddy. He is familiar with D'Amico Ryan. He is familiar with this San Francisco offense that will be coming to the Houston Texans. He is 31 years old. You don't have to break the bank on Jared McKinnon. You don't have to break the bank on um on Raheem Mostert, these are guys that could come in and they are like it is known that they are going to be the number two running back behind Damian Pierce. And I do think this will be a fantastic acquisition for the Houston Texans. One that would get me excited, just the fact that the Houston Texans really have a really haven't had a good pass catching running back since number 23, Arian Foster. I do like this list so far. Y'all let me know how I'm doing, guys, so far. And also make sure y'all follow me on Twitter at 713HSP. And the last running back that we're going to be talking about is Samaji P. Ryan, who just had a very good season with the Cincinnati Bengals. 27 years old, played in all 16 games, started two of them, right? Those two were when Joe Mixon went down. And what did P. Ryan do? Just grab that opportunity by the horns. Had a fantastic opening game against the, uh, against the Kansas City Chiefs, where he had 100 yards on the ground, 50 yards through the air, had struck and stiffed arm Justin Reed about three or four times. That is the kind of running back you want for your team, right? who's someone who, when is given the opportunity, doesn't run away from the line, but absolutely shines. His stats this year, 394 rushing yards, which were his career high, two touchdowns through the air. He was targeted 51 times. He caught 38 balls for 287 yards and four receiving touchdowns. What was interesting about P. Ryan this season was he was a potential cap cut, right? Some people, you know, just wanted to go ahead and just get rid of P. Ryan. He is 26 years old, entering his 27th year. However, was one of the reasons why they had a very successful running game, a very successful pass catching game. He's very good, you know, at picking up the bets and blocking P. Ryan will be solid get for the Houston Texans. This is a guy, like I said, who stepped up when others went down and has been in big games for the Cincinnati Bengals, right? In 2020 against the Houston Texans at 137 yard game and two touchdowns. Samaji P. Ryan to me will be a great addition for the Houston Texans and all these three as a whole. There are not high profile guys. They're not a Saquon Barkley, Miles Sanders, um, J Josh Jacobs. This is guys that I think the Houston Texans could spend money on each and every single one of them. If they want to give them a little bit more, they could afford all three of them. And each and every single one of these three running backs, Raheem Mostert, Samaji P. Ryan, Jared McKinnon, can help Damian Pierce and help him, you know, and help this offense be one of the best. And going back to what we've seen, you guys let me know how I did with this free agency running back list. I think it was pretty solid. As always, you guys have a very blessed day. Go Houston Texans.